welcome to another video. This one's a really exciting one for me because those of you that are new, we're writing an album on this bus and this week we take the bus into Europe. As always, loads to cram in, so we're gonna start off this week with a beach writing session. And the sun sets this week. Woohoo! Oh, there's the doggo. I really want that size dog. Hey gang, uh, I'm here today with... Hey! Morgan is back and of course Isaac, this is Isaac's last day really sadly. He goes back tomorrow until I see him in Europe, but it's not going to be for a month and a half. Today, <laughs> the most beautiful sunset and it's really calm and still, so uh, we're just going to write on the beach tonight and then um, just see what happens. Still got my t-shirt on, I don't know if I should leave. Still got your lipstick on, leaving me frustrated, wasted now. Is that... Oh, I feel like it's going you... up now. Leaving me frustrated, wasted now. Should be getting round, down, down. Yeah, should be getting down, down, down. Yeah, okay. you've been leaving me up and down, down. Yeah. <laughs> sad time Isaac is leaving and he's I'm not gonna see you till June well I'll see you in May, May. we keep saying June actually it is mid-May May. have a good one Bye, have a good journey back and I will see you in May for the film launch whoop, whoop. <laughs> safe bye, journey mate. back mate and a bit. love you bye yeah, mate. Love you, mate. Isaac left this week as well it's gonna feel really weird without him because he's been here for like most of the tour so far he's been to pretty much every location works with pretty much every artist. So Isaac, mate, we're already excited to have you back. We must go on. We're gonna talk about Monzo this week. As I briefly mentioned last week, I got a Monzo account. For those of you that don't know what a Monzo account is, it's a debit credit card that basically has an app with it that shows you all of your spendings. It categorizes it. You can create like little pots for savings. Really simple and easy banking. This is not an advert for Monzo. I wish it was because the tour would be sorted. But what it does do is categorize everything so that I can show you guys exactly where spendings are going. So, in the bank account right now, we have £198.26. So what have we bought this week? Morrison's Food Shop, £19. Car insurance, because we still haven't sold it yet, £64. £3.40 times four for parking in Brighton. £20 in £1 coins from the ATM machine, which was for a laundry wash and a lot of laundry as well. We've had a lot of guests. £20 on Premiere Pro to edit these videos. £14 on the DVLA. £11.50 at the post office for a green card, bloody Brexit. I must add, I did have to get this special driving thing for when I'm in Europe, just in case we leave with a no deal Brexit. We might not leave with a no deal Brexit, but I wanted to be safe and sorry, so still an expense. 18 pound for a new propane gas tank. 33 pound on the little shop that was yesterday for this coming week. And 12 pound 50 on phone bill. It gives you an idea on how much like the weekly cost and this isn't including fuel that's on the credit card that's going to come off this week and i think i've got like 350 pound that's going to come off so i'm going to be in debt by the end of this week guys so i need to find some cash pretty quick of course don't want to be that guy but six t-shirts equals a tank of fuel I wanted to fill you in on a lovely email I've just had from a guy called Bram. And I just wanted to log it in the vlog that you guys are still getting in touch. I guess I'm a little bit nervous for Europe because although I've got people to meet, I still be spending a lot of the middle time like kind of on my own. So I've been a little bit nervous, but receiving emails like this, and I've had a couple this morning, gives me confidence that maybe some of these gaps are gonna keep getting filled up. So if you're watching this in Europe and in the UK and you wanna come and join the trip, people are still getting on board, so you can do that. And also, if anybody's out there wanting their music recorded and they wanna come in and join the bus for a couple of days, we have a load of super cheap fees at the minute just so that we can keep the bus moving and keep the project going. So if you're interested in getting your music recorded, let me know. Bram, thank you so much for getting in touch and um, reminding me to make a video and update. Definitely hop into those DMs or in the email if you're planning on joining in Europe. Time is flying. <laughs> Oh, 
Morning guys, one thing I've really wanted to get back into is um, doing yoga. I used to do yoga a lot when I lived in Leeds. Really enjoyed it. Every time I go on holiday every morning I do it. I'm not very good at it, but I just enjoy doing it. And um, I haven't done it for ages and I've really wanted to get back on it. This is my view. Just generally enjoying this beautiful day. Really nice morning. Brighton has a way with having really good mornings. And I was just sat here and this couple on the front we were looking at something and filming something and I thought it was their dog in the water. It turned out it was a seal and then he just dipped his head down and off he went. That feels much better. I feel really chilled now. So today's plan Crack on with some editing and enjoy the sunshine. This ain't a bad view from my office today, right? It's a pretty good one. See you in a bit. Some more good news. I probably should have said this earlier actually when I was talking about the money situation, but the bags are nearly here. So a while ago when we were planning the merch, we decided between us on t-shirts and these cool yellow bags that were the color of this sofa. Unfortunately, the supplier had problems with supplying, um, but they're coming next week. So my parents are actually coming. We're having a weekend off in Bruges and they're bringing the delivery with them. So by next week, we should have some. So if you're one of those people that were interested in the yellow bags, leave a comment down below and I'll make sure I put you on the list so I can get in touch with you so you guys can get first dibs. Okay, next part of the vlog. Can we just take a moment for the sunsets this week, please? been so inspiring enjoying these sunsets. Also another thing that we've been trying to do from kind of day one together is working out how we can maybe bring some money into the tour so that we can get to every musician that wants to work. And recently this came in. I have Charlie here who does the socials for Corcovado. Yes. So when we did the film last year Charlie was the guy who was doing all the updates. Something interesting about the album when I put out whether anybody knew of any way we could make some money for this tour. Charlie reached out with an interesting point. So Charlie's getting married, guys. Congratulations. Hey, thank you very much. And asked if I wanted to film his wedding. Yeah. Which was a massive honour for me, but also it puts money in the pot for the album. That's why we're kind of sat here now exactly. as well. That, that's exactly what the, the network is and the community. So uh, George's skills and how it all comes together. So yeah, that'd be really good. That's how it worked <laughs> out. And buy that car. Have you sold the car yet? No, I've still not sold the <laughs> bloody car. Hey, thanks for um, paying the yeah, visit, thanks, man. Mate, yeah. So good to connect again. It's YouTube time. Every week I like to just go through a few of your comments, through a few of your comments, that's really hard to say, and see what you guys have to say. Enin, Eninra? <laughs> I don't know what that was. Greatest song at 529 is amazing. Looking forward to the rest of the tour, dude. Thank you very much. And yes, Grace's voice is absolutely paying. George K, damn those songs sound incredible already. I find it fascinating how good a mix you can get in a suboptimal in suboptimal conditions like the bus. There's gotta be reflections like crazy. I'm a massive believer, right, that if you really know a pair of speakers and you really know a, what a room sounds like, and that can be done via listening to just a lot of music through those speakers and in that room, I believe you can do really good mixes. If I sat in a perfectly treated room on brand new speakers that I'd never used before, I don't think I'd be able to do a good mix. That's only my personal opinion, but I really do think you're only as good as you know your speakers. Emmanuel says, sick guy, proud of you, bro. You're going to go far. Thank you, man. Appreciate you. Jack Wardale, absolutely love these videos, George. I would love to connect. I've always wanted to ghostwrite. I've done poetry in the past and would love the opportunity to write some spoken word for you. Let's get in the emails, my buddy. We need to talk. Guys, thank you so much for the comments this week. I've got Morgan M. James here. Hi, guys. He's back today because we're booking flights for Amsterdam. Currently, his price is £63.78. How many days? Uh, that's a great question, George. How many days? Well, I can tell <laughs> it you. 10 days or 9 days? It's 10 nights. 
So we're going to do a, a lot of recording and that's going to be in Amsterdam and that's London Gatwick to Amsterdam. So the reason I'm logging it is just to show you guys that the prices have gone up a little bit but not much. I think you're the first person booking your flights officially. Oh, hey, on it. Those of you that are also thinking about coming into it, I think now's probably a good time just because the prices are going up now a little bit. But £63. Mate, absolutely. The fine. flight out there is £22 and the flight back is 41 He's going to be there no. on my birthday. My birthday's on the 2nd the of May. birthday night out in Amsterdam. Very excited. Mate, so I'm on, buzz it. Guys, exciting time. We're off to France. We are off to France. I'm just about to do the pack down and realized a lot of people when they come on the bus ask me, does this all stay up? Like, how does the keyboard not fall down when you're driving? Well, truth is, this all comes down when I move. Um, so these speakers and the keyboard just go on the floor. The speakers actually just go into these seats. This is my job right now. Get these speakers down, pick up some gas, pick up some food, hit the road to Portsmouth. Just in time for sunset. I'm really nervous actually. I don't know why. I think it's just like when you're with other people doing this kind of thing, you don't have the pressure. Like if something goes wrong, you, you kind of can laugh it off with a mate. I guess this is the first time I've like left the country with the bus, just like on my own. So I guess it just feels a bit more pressure in that sense, but it'll be fine, it'll be fine. I'm really excited to share this next four months with you. So stay tuned. And I guess I'll um, see you in the morning. Morning guys. It is currently 5.45. Waiting to board the ship. I haven't been on a ferry in about 10 years. Look at all that pollution. World, I am sorry. Oh. 